Today marks 25 years since the military junta under the leadership of Yaya Jame overthrew Jawaris regime in a coup on 22nd July 1994. The day during the 22 years rule of Jame was celebrated each year as a revolution day. However, many Gambians believe that it was the beginning of oppression. We have Amadou Kante on that. This day marks exactly 25 years since Jame led military junta overthrew the government of Dauda Jawara and then ruled by degree until the first presidential elections in 1996. In 1994, Gambians went into massive jubilation based on the hope that was the change they have been waiting for. The military leadership soon announced its retirement from the army and formed the Alliance for Patriotic Reorientation and Construction APRC party and swept the polls. The APRC government was then re-elected in 2001, 2006 and 2011, but lost to Adam Abaro under the coalition of December 2016. During the 22 years of the APRC government, the Gambia witnessed a remarkable infrastructural developments in the fields of transport and communications, education and health. In 1995, when we marched, when there was a, the first, uh, first period of the revolution, there were less than three schools, madrasas. Today, you cannot count them. There were only five high schools. Today, you cannot count them. But what is more important is you, the future of humanity. The July takeover for which important relics such as the Banjul Arch and other institutions are named after replaced the national independence as the most celebrated day under Yahya Jame. The Jame rule is also remembered for its human rights violations for which the Barak government has established a commission of inquiry named the TRRC.